Imagine a situation where you have a smartphone, computer or gaming console and you want to listen to music, play games or watch movies with the highest possible sound quality wirelessly and without delay. But your device doesn't support modern codecs like LDAC or APTX lossless. This is exactly the case for which FIO BT11 was created. For example, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which I am currently using to film this video, only support Bluetooth data transmission up to 256 kilobit per second. This is the AAC codec. So, Bluetooth data transmission is at the level of a good MP3. Nowadays, the friends, this is completely insufficient, because we want to listen to high-resolution audio without any Bluetooth delay, which is always present. That is why developers invent different codecs and chips, and Fio BT11 is such a device. I will say right away, the device on which you will listen to music, whatever headphones or speakers, must also support modern codecs like APTX, APTX IHD, LDAC, and up to APTX lossless inclusive. Otherwise, FIO BT11 will transmit a high res signal, but the receiving device without support for quality codecs will render it pointless. Read the manuals for your headphones and speakers to ensure that high-performance codecs are supported. The provided graph shows the data transmission speed of various Bluetooth codecs. At the very bottom is the iPhone AAC codec at 256 kilobits per second. The top of the chart is occupied by the Japanese codec developed by Sony, LDAC, providing almost the highest data transmission quality today. I hope this is clear, because the light of each bar visually shows the amount of data the considered codec can transmit in one second. If AAC at the bottom transmit 256 kilobit per second, then LDAC at the very top transmits 990 kilobit per second, roughly four times more. There is also the APTX lossless codex, which is superior to LDAC and promises CD quality sound without loose, but I have not yet had the chance to work with it. Let's add it to the graph at the top. Here is our record holder. Simply incredible. Fio BT11 can work with iPhones above 15. For earlier version, you need to use a lighting to USB-C adapter. Of course, other Apple devices like MacBooks are also supported. In general, whatever you can plug in USB-C, it works. Also with Android, PlayStation 5 and Nintendo Switch. If you don't have a USB-C output, a USB-A adapter is included, and you can plug it anywhere. Thanks to the super cheap Qualcomm QCC5181 and support for Bluetooth 5.4, FIO BT11 provides a more stable connection than the built-in transmission in a computer or phone. FIO BT11 is equipped with a unique antenna using advanced PDS planar dipole antenna technology, providing a transmission distance of about 50 meters. Incredible distance! Usually Bluetooth doesn't reach more than 10 meters. It can also connect to two devices simultaneously, allowing you to listen to music, watch movies or play together. The transmitter itself is small, without buttons, but with an elongated status indicator, which sometimes blinks and sometimes light up. Here is the decoding or what different colors means. If you want to take a closer look, please pause the video. These are fascinating parameters. You can see all the technical parameters via the link in the description. Now let's talk about what I heard in my focal buttis and how far I could go in the headphones from the transmitter. Connected Fio PT11 to the iPhone for the first time did not bring any instant improvement in sound. The buzz did not improve, the vocal range did not become clearer, and the high frequencies practically did not change. I thought, what the heck? I started listening more closely. In the room when I was listening to music, it was noisy. My wife was busy in the kitchen. The kids were running and playing. And despite the fact that focal buttes have noise cancellation, I didn't hear any difference. Well, noise cancellation is not absolute.
I went to another room where it was quiet, and it was in that quiet room that I heard the difference. You know, guys, the most important advantage on his transmitter is that the wireless sound quality becomes very precise and more detailed, like a wired connection. The slight carelessness, loudness, and relaxed nature of ordinary Bluetooth sound disappears. This change is very subtle, but it is useful if you really want to improve the sound quality using wireless technology. With the iPhone, signal transmission works great, and with Android, it's also good. The only unpleasant thing in the first evening of use, I couldn't get the FIO control app to work on my iPhone. It constantly showed some error. The next day, somehow, magically everything worked. I don't know why, I did nothing. Another day later, on the iPhone, FIO control stopped working again. On an Android phone, the apps works well. For Windows, there is an online FIO control site, but for FIO BT11, the functionals at the time of preparing the review didn't not work. Connecting to Windows, I tried with two computers, one at home and one at work. Sometimes it felt like part of the information transmitted by the transmitter was disappearing. I tried plugging the transmitter into different USB port, but the situation did not change. The sound is beautiful, clear, very precise, but from time to time some it difference occurs. I went into the Windows sound setting and found that Windows by default sets the sound quality to 24 bits and 48 kHz. Apparently, this is too much for this transmitter, and after I set Windows to 16 bits at 44.1 kHz CD quality, the interference in sound quality stopped. I had difficulties connecting two devices simultaneously. They didn't want to connect. In the end, I conducted Bluetooth pairing of two devices with FIO BT11 separately, and then they both connected. The ability to connect two devices works a bit chaotically. If you plan to connect this transmitter to a computer, please ensure that USB port for connection is sufficiently distant from other ports in use. Otherwise, the transmitter may be inserted tightly or skewed. In any case, you can use some small adapters or connectors to avoid very tight connections with other cables. As promised, I'll tell you about the transmission distance of each transmitter. We have a three-room apartment, Lithuanian style with concrete walls, each wall 10 cm thick, which repair inside. I left the phone with the transmitter in one corner of the apartment put on the headphones and went diagonally to the other fortress corner of the apartment, that is a distance of about 15 meters, and through all the walls, three were three walls in the signal patch, the transmitter worked perfectly and there were no interruption in communication. Outside, I managed to move away from the phone in the headphones for 24 steps, which is approximately 20 to 30 meters. I couldn't move the climate 35 to 50 meters away. Very good result in terms of distance, but of course I would like to get the declared 50 meters. I don't really know why, too. If you listen to music wirelessly from your phone without a separate transmitter, the distance you can move away will be at least two or even three times less. Let's summarize everything said earlier. Fio BT11 really improves sound quality, making it more precise and detailed. When you look at the graph, it seems wow, what a bitrate. In fact, the result is modest but useful. The actual operating distance is below the climate 1, but for my use case, this is not critical. When connected to Windows, in the sound settings, you need to set the parameters to 1644.1. And the final point, the FIO control app can glitch and complicate the connection to two devices simultaneously. Overall, a great device that will be useful. That's all, dear friends. If you liked this video, of course, like and subscribe to the channel. If you buy, order this device through affiliate link in the description. In the way, I will receive a small percentage. You will support the channel adding points to your karma, and I will be able to continue creating good, useful videos. That's all. And may the force of the right sound be with you.